thinks. Nothing. Not even a glance. I mean, even I was thinking about rocking a motorboat on those bad boys. Evening, ladies. Oh, I like your... Oh, it's a koala bear. I think they're adorable. No way! My friend Randy here is the leading expert on koala bears in Australia. That is so cool. What is your favorite thing about koala bears? Their meat is delicious. Are we gonna find the perfect girl so we can all grow old together? That is her. Do not let any guy near her, okay? That means no waiter takes her order, no busboy clears her table. If she bursts into flames, I want a fire woman putting her out. Well, I think 911 takes request. Damn it, Marshall! Whatever you have to do, keep Maggie Wilkes single until I get back. But you never know until you taste it. Ted, have you tasted her Tootsie Roll? Oh, of course not. Ow. Wait, have you? <gasps> Zero feelings for USA, USA. We should buy a bar. Of course, we should buy a bar. We should totally buy a bar. We should totally buy a bar. Our bar would be awesome. And dude, 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 dude. <laughs> the name of our bar. Puzzles. People will be like, why is it called puzzles? That's the puzzle. Sweeter if you hadn't thought I was a tranny before, but it's still sweet. Oh, Ted, that's so romantic. I want to fill a pillowcase with dead batteries and beat you with it. Beautiful, charming, intelligent, engaged. Oh, oh Ted, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was a long shot. I told her to call me anyway if she changes her mind, but I don't know. Whoa, I whoa, guess... whoa. Let's not skip over this. Raise your hand if earlier today you hit on an engaged woman. <sighs> Come on, Lily, don't hate the player, hate the game. So my husband snuck off to go parasailing and he wants me to join him? Yes. Where the heck is this parasailing place? <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Jerry. Oh, that's weird, I just lost sale reception. Yes, weird. Are we almost there? Almost there. Give me back my wife, you son of a bitch! Stupid, I'm stupid. Shh, 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 shh. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ted, let's get you a hooker. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, to bring to the banquet and hang out with ironically or to actually have sex with? Yes. Hey, guys. What are you talking about? Fantasy, Fantasy football. <laughs> You're the most incredible woman I know, and you deserve a big package. Your package has always been big enough. You may not realize this, Marshall Erickson, but you've got a huge package. <laughs> Why is it so important that you be part of this story? Because crazy stories are my thing. You have architecture, Marshall has the law, Lily has art, Robin has pleasing me sexually. You all have a passion that drives you. We, well, you know, she's been crazy too. She's pregnant, she gets to be crazy. You have to be the same one. So I don't get to be crazy again until the baby comes? No, then it's baby's turn to be crazy. When do I get to be crazy again? Never. <laughs> Distract me off. That is so condescending. These guys are really starting to piss me off. Immediately switch the conversation to one of the following, unless you want Robin to start throwing her shoes. Three. Emperor penguins. Did you know that before intercourse, the male and female emperor penguins bow to each other? Mr. Penguin. Mrs. Penguin. Oh, God, silly penguins acting all fancy. <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh-oh. Okay, uh, say we had kids. They wouldn't have to grow up in some suburb somewhere. They'd grow up on the road, uh, having adventures with us. <gasps> Think of all the Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts they could collect. Did you know that kids were never a part of my plan? That if I was gonna have someone's babies, I'd have your babies. That's when you run. Tell me you ran, Ted. <laughs> okay, here's my thing. If gay guys start getting married, then suddenly the whole world's gonna be doing it. That's how it works. They start something, then six months later, everyone follows. It's like, now everyone gets manicures. Yeah, I don't get manicures. Okay, then, like, how, like, getting your chest waxed. <gasps> you get your chest waxed? You, let's do it, let's move to Argentina. <laughs> no, es posible. Nobody moves to Argentina. The Argentinian peso has dropped two-thirds in five years, the government is opposed to free market reforms, and the railroad has been a mess since the breakup of Fierro Carillas Argentinos. <laughs> I hooked up with an Argentinian exchange student in a portage on outside Yankee Stadium. Man, she was chatty. Think about those stories I told you. Yeah, 
I could see how that'd be a problem. Gay marriage is going to cause single life as we know it to die out. Think of how the American family will be strengthened. Hey, shouldn't be messing with your roommate's stuff. What's she like? I didn't know it, but I was about to hear the very first description of the woman I'd one day marry. She's a whore. Look, my sister married a guy I didn't like. Sandals and socks? Come on, buddy. But I took her out. We... Nice one. Thanks. I decided to leave out the hetero college phase. No one wants to hear about that. Oh, it was perfect. You even made Tom's dad cry. Might have been doing that because he's a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chunks, let's do this. Barney, a dancer! <laughs> you really want to make this bet with him? You know how he is. Robin, there is some pretty tough stuff on that list. <laughs> do you really think Barney's going to get his ear pierced? Get ear pierced. Check. I can't believe I'm doing this. But I'm going to give you one last shot. But so help me, if you so much as step one toe out of line, you're going to be playing duck hunt in your mama's basement so fast it's going to make your head spin. Now get out of here. You won't regret this. <laughs> I am ready to hit the road. I got baby wipes. I got a variety of jerky. I got six cans of tantrum. Well, four. One burned through the can, the other one I drank already. <laughs> tantrum! And now, apparently, I may end up getting deported. Oh, my God, that sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna go do push-ups in the kitchen. Tantrum! Oh. Don't you think it's a little convenient how that fire alarm happened to randomly go off? What are you saying? Ted, does she have enormous cans? No. Then what we're saying is she's a crazy stalker bitch who pulled that fire alarm and you should run screaming. You have to do it. I'll help you study. We're gonna stay up all night long. I'm gonna drill you and then we're gonna study. No, seriously. We're gonna do some cramming and then we're gonna study. No, seriously. We're gonna bone up okay, on- Okay, Barney. Sorry. And we have catered to couples ever since. Well, I mean, single people can have fun here too, right? Oh, uh, I, I suppose I could arrange a little recreation. Do you enjoy sitting on a bench? But, you know, it's not gonna be easy this test. It's not like the Canadian citizenship test. Well, how do you know the Canadian test is easy? It's Canada. Question one, do you want to be Canadian? Question two, really? Oh, but how did you find me anyway? You called me, said you were never coming back. So I jumped on a plane, flew across the Atlantic. Canada isn't across the Atlantic. You're talking nonsense. Boats! 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 It's the Far Boat Show! Boats! 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 November 5th, 6th, and 7th at the Far Hampton Civic Center. Come on down. Lisa Walker strung me along for months until one night I went to go tell her how much I loved her. Aww. In song. Ooh. Ted, let me be clear. This girl is a poison, and you need to cut her out of your life forever. Hey, there she is. Oh. She brought some of her co-workers. Hang on to this girl, Ted. Hang on to her, never let go. Man was a hunter. So the hottest profession of the day? Gatherer. Homo erectus, indeed. Hey, by the way, you, uh, you ditched that loser boyfriend yet? No, sir. Touch my nose. Dude, ditch Tiffany and join the barnacle in a pharma girl free for all. Side effects may include loss of clothing, rug burn, shortness of breath, and sore abdominals the next morning. What in the world is up? <laughs> Ain't no party like a pharma girl party, cause a pharma girl party don't stop. Dude, I have already hooked up with three of them. Phantasmo. Plus, my cholesterol is down, my restless leg syndrome is cured. I've never felt more alive. Ooh. Yes, the answer is yes. Perfect! Mom, Dad, Ted proposed! Oh, oh my God! I knew this thing would come! Oh, oh. so? Yeah, well, we just gonna... No. Wh what did you do? I seriously considered just marrying her out of sheer awkwardness. So you're gonna ask her out? Yeah. No! I can't ask her out because if I ask her out, I'm asking her out. So how do I ask her out without asking her out? Did you guys get high? <laughs> was a cute little basketball player before you became the biggest pervert in the world. <laughs> yeah, because nothing's as casual like inviting a hundred people over just to mac on one girl. Oh, and Lily, that's my leg. <laughs> you waited five minutes to tell me that? Oh my God, this explains why I was always so awesome at basketball. <laughs> Guys, I'm black. We do it up there sometimes. Solid plan, my little friends. We're the same height. But may I suggest one little modification? 
That foxy young thing you were chatting up, take her up to the roof and have sex with her. Crazy monkey That's style. That's not the plan. It should be the plan. I mean, look at her. Ted, look at her. She's smoking. Thank you. This chick and I are going at it behind the Central Park Zoo. The bonobo chimps start giving us a standing O. And just when I'm about to give her the same thing, what up? I... So, it's over between me and works with Carlos Girl. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah. I was trying to think, what's the quickest way to get rid of a girl you just met? I think I'm in love with you. What? Thanks, bro. Guess who just got four tickets to the origins of Chewbacca Star Wars exhibit? Why? No, I said, guess who? I heard you. Yeah. Now that Robin and I are together, I've learned a lot about relationships by watching you and Lily. Thanks, man. You're a terrible couple. Whoa, Ted, that thing you're packing's way too big to fit in that box. Yeah, that's what your mom said. How dare you? No, she actually said that. Oh, dear. I thought I told you that's just not going to fit in there. Delivery for Marshall Erickson. This one's for you, Lil. Where do I sign? They are my best friends, so don't be surprised if they suddenly can't think of anything I do wrong. Did he juggle? Bad puns? Expect a standing ovation for picking up a $19 check? No, let's not forget the menu type of gold mine. Hand in that river, buddy. Well, it is a lot cheaper than buying a condom. Uh... Santa. Yeah, but that's a good lie. Like when we tell Ted he'll meet the right girl and settle down. I always find that reassuring. You will meet her, buddy. You think so? Yeah. Stand by me. There you go. Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? You're the coolest, Professor Mosby. A hot dog. Did it hurt? What? Getting that kid's nose surgically removed from your ass. <laughs> like, like Tugboat here. Aw. I bet you he's made some mistakes. And you didn't fire Tugboat, did you? No, I got him fixed and he calmed down. Exactly. <laughs> kind of. Randy doesn't need to be fired. He needs to be fixed. Marshall, we do some pretty bad things around here, no, but I sir, I'm... Hey, Barney, I need your help. This hottie I'm talking to is meeting a friend at a club, so I need a wingman. Well, just so you know, I'd be giving up a sure thing here. Hey! Are you not a sure thing? Yeah, I am. Wow, you have enormous penis syndrome? I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's the problem with EPS, lack of awareness. Bunch of drunk, sloppy idiots fresh off a, a night of partying in the city, just desperate to hook up with anything that moves. Mm. All right. See ya. New plan, Ted. So this father-son thing, you know, a backwards baseball cap really yums me down. All aboard! Sounds like somebody wants to hear some examples, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna close my eyes until it's all over. A top ten things Lily said on her wedding night. So good. Oh, hey, Ted. Kind of a big professional meeting. You might want to trade out that lollipop for a shirt. <laughs> yeah. I just gave it to one of these kids. Oh, buddy. You're half naked. You're not a parent to any of these children. Don't offer him candy. Sorry, this is taking so long. He kicked for everybody else. It's hard for the little guy to perform under pressure. Top ten things Marshall said on his wedding night. <laughs> Whoa, it was small, but I think I felt something. Top ten things Lily said on her wedding night. <laughs> Stop laughing at it, Lily. Stop Stop it, Lily. Stop 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 in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean that to sound like Ted and I are going to do it kind of thing. <laughs> Where has this heavenly vehicle been all my life? Can you hear its inspiring chant, Ted? I think I can get laid. I think I can get laid. It's it's the little engine with wood, the Orient Express, the Long Island Tail Road. Oh, I got one. Thomas the Spank Engine. Ted, that is a children's book. Hey! MIT, my favorite Einstein quote was, God doesn't play dice with the universe. You didn't go to MIT. I didn't. Huh. I actually have no idea where you went to college. Who are you? It's your turn. I was on point for six straight hours yesterday. Two of those hours were a nap and you know it. Let's go to the board. <laughs> I hope it's a soupy doo sucker. I just met her out in the hall. We have a lot in common, such as our mutual love of country music, NASCAR, and Jeff Fox, where they just go with it. She needed a ride out of the city, and we have an extra seat in the car. So, okay, let's hit it. Wow. It's come to this. You could help a friend, but instead, you're choosing the hot girl in the tight tank top. Your training is complete. I'm so proud of this kid. You're right. <laughs> you're totally right. Okay. Mm, bye, sweetie. Oh. Mm. 
get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Who's ready to meet Santa? Do it. If you ever want to see these boobs again, crawl, you son of a me. Come on, Lil. So lately he's been a little testy. You know what I mean? Crotchety. <laughs> I'm just saying it's been hard on him. Okay, all right, stop. He's Hammond Druthers. He's a legend. I'm just part of his team. This building is huge for the firm, so it's really important we don't blow it. <laughs> All right. It hasn't been struck since W.S. Gilbert hit it at the London premiere of the Mikado in 1885. Ooh. Ooh, wife's a 500-year-old relic that hasn't been struck since W.S. Gilbert hit it at the London premiere of the Mikado in 1885. Remote control helicopter! I swear to God, if there's any more surprises, I'm gonna hit someone. Sobre Jean, comrade! Welcome to Big Wave Lou Al, may I take your drink order? Oh, crap. Sorry. Oh, hi, Lily. We were just in the neighborhood. Thought we'd get some lunch. We didn't even know you'd be here. <laughs> so... I just slept with my best friend's ex-girlfriend. And I just slept with my ex-boyfriend's really good friend. Best friend. Ted's allowed to have a life outside of the group. We all are. Wait a minute. Why are you saying that all of a sudden? Oh, God, you're pregnant. No. Oh, God, you already had the baby. It's my fault, really, isn't it? Lily, I thought you said you wanted to. It was your idea. I starved myself for a week to get camera ready. You had a bear claw for breakfast. Yeah, a bear claw. Okay. And last but not least, there is a fleet of limos outside waiting to take us to a strip club! You get a lap dance! You get a lap dance! You are gonna give me a lap dance! Everybody get a lap dance! Do you think... Okay, I already know. I don't want to hear this. Do you think that if we did it... Yeah, I was right. I don't want to hear this. And I did a really good job... Please leave. ...that I could turn that into my baby? I think I'm gonna throw up. Morning sickness. No. Nope. Robin, nothing to add? No. Lily is my friend, and I'm not gonna make fun of her for trying to follow her dreams. Thank you. Although you might want to bring out the big Hawaiian drum because I'm pretty sure today's my birthday. Oh! <laughs> what? You gonna cry? Huh? Little crybaby's gonna cry. Hey, everybody, look! Little crybaby's gonna cry! I'm performing open heart surgery on the Dutch ambassador in the morning. I hope he pulls through. Really? A colleague of mine just prescribed Humidin to the Dutch ambassador. And there's no way she'd be on anticoagulants if she were about to undergo surgery. Just. Okay. Oh, Marshall, you only think you're happy. Just wait, because tonight is Barney's favorite thing! That was the reaction Barney expected. This was the one he got. Huh? I don't know what that is. Hi there. We've had a lot of fun tonight, but on a more serious note, this is the time of year when we remember the importance of giving. And there's no greater gift than the gift of booty. <laughs> so this holiday season, why not bang someone in need? I'm Barney Stinson, and that's one to grow on. Um, no. Anyway, let's make our own bets about this sex tape. I've got Marshall with a surprise piercing at five to one odds, Lily with a landing strip, 10 to one, Marshall with a landing strip, even money. I don't... Now the blouse. The cougar displays maximum cleavage possible to captivate her prey. If you're watching them bounce, she's about to pounce. To Ted, the youngest person to ever design a building over 70 stories, probably. Probably! probably. Willem Dafoe. Funny thing about Willem Dafoe, uh, his name kind of sounds like a frog talking to a parrot. <laughs> Willem Dafoe! Willem Dafoe! Case in point, I will be spending February 13th with some lovely single ladies from work. Trolls. Who could care less about Valentine's Day. Lying trolls. And we will be celebrating the fact that we don't have to spend it with some dippy guy carting around roses and stuffed toys all night. Oh, no offense, Ted. And none was taken until just then. Okay, here goes. I go camping in secret. Yeah, do you really want to see that? And do, you, and, and do you want to hear me go, uh... 
It can't sound like that. It can't. I know that noise. I heard it through the walls. I thought the neighbors had a sick cat. Who would you rather have grading your papers? A savage, man-eating jungle cat? Or a purring, satisfied kitty? Go, Barney. Go mountain stuff that cougar. Ian, you know what would be really crazy and funny and stupid to do tonight? If you and me find a guy and have a three-way. Maybe. If we found the right guy. Yeah, and if we don't find the right guy, maybe you and I could just... You know who's pretty cute? That guy, Ted. Let's go find him. So, there really is a sex tape. Look, when somebody opens up a container with an entire chicken in it, it's okay to assume they made lunch for everyone. Ted, that girl didn't quit. You destroyed her. It was a whole chicken. And did I mention she had 12 sides? Oh, so now you're gonna bash her figure. Real classy, Ted. <laughs> needs to pretend to be Marissa Heller. Oh, guys, I'm flattered, but I think Lily should do it. Ted, if I, um, if I ever get married and you're not the guy I'm marrying... Big mistake, but on. <laughs> what is my third favorite word that begins with B-O-N? <laughs> bonus. As in, my end-of-the-year bonus check. My God, Barney. I work for GNB too. All I got was a $15 gift card to Costa Coffee. And you earned it, buddy. <laughs> God, if you help me find this sex tape, I am going to make some changes in my life. I am going to stop sleeping around, quit drinking so much, no more shenanigans. I am going to devote my entire life to doing good deeds and praising your name. Is this what you're looking for, Mr. Barney? <sighs> Never mind, bro. Found it. So you are going to design the... Styrofoam trees. Once again, with feeling. Uh, styrofoam trees. Styrofoam trees! Styrofoam trees! That's the spirit. Now gather around. Five front row tickets to Robots versus Wrestlers. Robots versus Wrestlers? That is awesome. You've heard of Robots versus Wrestlers? Never. But we assume it's some sort of sporting event that pits robots against wrestlers. That's exactly what it is, according to the website. Ah! Rule number 83. If anything that comes out of that baby gets on one of my suits, I get to touch Lily's boobs. Dude, what is it with you and my wife's boobs tonight? Hey, hey, I don't make the rules. It's a Christmas-themed movie snack. Oh, uh, I know that move. You cut a hole in the floor, she reaches into the living room, finds the tree. Oh, holy night. Nice. Be amazed. People fall off ski lifts all the time. <laughs> well, I gotta hit the head. Ugh. Like a bad divorce this summer, and now she's taking it out on us. Tell you the truth, I think she just needs to get laid. Really? Laid, you said? <laughs> you wouldn't be into her. She's like in her late 40s. Is she hot? I think she's kind of hot, yeah. Okay, I'm in. Okay. I guess, uh, what, we'll need fake names? Um, you can call me Buttercup. Pleased to meet you, Buttercup. I'm Lando Calrissian. <laughs> Wow, this is kind of exciting. Our names will forever be shrouded Ted, in... Ted, 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 look, I got a bridesmaid. Ted, look, look, Ted, the second hottest bridesmaid. Ted, look, see you, Ted. Marshall, I've thought it over, and I accept your challenge. I didn't challenge you to have sex Tomorrow... You guys are right. I'm totally overreacting to this whole Robin thing. What's this envelope? Is this a wedding invitation? Robin's marrying Don. I'm gonna die alone. Ted's gonna get eaten by cats. I know what you're thinking. I wish I was a dude. I do wish you were a dude. Excuse me. And you. you. You did not move to the greatest city on Earth to become a coin-flipping bimbo. So, here's how it's gonna work. Heads, you take the job at Worldwide News. Tails, you take the job at Worldwide News. <laughs> hey, looks like somebody got a new gig. Well, I'll call him tomorrow. I'll call him right now. So, where should we eat today? Oh, awesome. You brought lunch for everyone? <laughs> Relax, it's for Marissa Heller. Marissa Heller, she sounds hot. Face, boobs, describe, start with boobs. Flip that coin. So now, because of that incident, Heads or Tails is looking for a new currency rotation specialist. You mean coin flip, bimbo? Well, we just had our first fight. We had our first fight. Oh, no, what'd you fight about? Oh, no, what'd you fight about? I don't want to get married and have kids. What am I supposed to say? You know what? 
You're an adult with perfectly valid opinions. You shouldn't have to apologize for them. I'm gonna lie. I would. <laughs> he cheated on my mom? No, that's, that's impossible. Ted, it's a well-known statistic that 83% of people married longer than six months are seeing someone on the side. Do you know that when you make up a statistic, you always use 83%? <laughs> I, I join you too, but I, I want to get up early for mass tomorrow. Oh, St. Peter's, 8.45 a.m. It's my favorite service. Wait a minute, you're able to cross the threshold of a church? <laughs> this is corporate America, Marshall. Screaming is a motivational tool, like Christmas bonuses or sexual harassment. It's just good business. Robin, I'm his best friend. That's a commitment. Girlfriend, that's like a bad flu. Out of your system after a couple weeks in bed. High five. <laughs> How could your parents not know about me? I I'm delightful. To us, sure, in very small, infrequent doses. I mean, but come on, you're not exactly the kind of friend parents want their kid to have. Oh, really? Then I guess those shoes aren't the thing you're most wrong about today. <laughs> Barney, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm here to meet your parents. They must be dying to meet me after all the legendary Barney stories you told them. I haven't told them any legendary Barney stories. What? Barney, here's a list of all the things I talk with my dad about. Baseball. But I'm your best friend. Well, actually, Marshall's my I'm best the friend. most important person in your life. Well, Robin's actually. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, Lily, you look so beautiful. I know, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm a fairy princess. <laughs> I'm too skinny for my dress. My calves have really been cramping up. <laughs> Still single? Yes. You know, I've poured a lot of free drinks for you over the years. A lot. Carl, oh, do you really want to be with a woman who trades sex for beer? Only if you're into it. It's on me. Thanks. I'm going to unleash my calves. That's crazy. Nobody's turned on by men's calves. They're a thoroughly unerotic body part. Well, yeah, I'd say that too if I had those skinny little chicken legs. <laughs> I'll be waiting by the phone for your apology. Well, you know what? Two can play at that game. See, at brunch, I'm gonna torture Lily right back. Yeah, there's a part of my body that she's got a weakness for, too. Dude, you can't whip that out at brunch. Yes, we were so sorry to hear about your, you know, the, the... <laughs> well. Lily calling off the wedding and dumping me? Me begging Marshall to take me back and him rejecting me? I love your hair. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you, your cousin Jimmy had a wonderful time at that spa he visited. You mean the spa the judge ordered him to go to to quit cocaine? Coffee? Where's Marshall? Oh, uh, he's getting a haircut. Oh, for his date. Good for him. Hope he has a good time tonight. Relax, you've got nothing to worry about. The girl's crazy. Thanks. I'll just have wild monkey sex with her five times max and be done with her. Thanks again. Did you call me? Was I supposed to call you? Yes, about the whole Marshall dating another girl thing. You said you were fine with it. Yeah, in front of Ted, but then I shot you a look. What look? This. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a look. Yes, it is. It means I'm upset. Call me later. You should have pulled me aside and told me what the look meant. If I pulled you aside, I wouldn't need the look. Oh, maybe if it wasn't more distinct to put the look. Would you like to have a threesome? <laughs> of course. Great, it'd be me, you, and Mr. Weasels. <laughs> So, did you do it? No. It ended up being just a twosome with the third one watching from a chair. Which one were you? I'd rather not say. You really like that suit. You, tell me about the fabric. Is it foreign or something? Wow, it is foreign. I'm impressed, Ted. It's Moroccan, actually. Oh, I got a call for Swarly. Is there Swarly here? You weren't interested in my suit at all, were you? Hmm? Swarly! Yeah, uh, I know he's there. It's really important. Could you ask again? Important call for Swarl. Okay, you were right. The architect thing totally works. Mm -hmm. But I have a girlfriend, and I gotta get back to work. This project is getting harder and harder. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> but um, back to the sun rising over Ted, and uh, oh, what tasteful way did you describe her? The girl with the smackable ass. Yes, that's the young lady. How'd you fit a pumpkin into this little cup? <laughs> How did they even fit a pumpkin into those little cups? What, you got a shrink ray back there? <laughs> Remember that time I said that thing about how do they fit a pumpkin into the little cup? Which time? The first time? Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> right? All right, there's only two reasons she'd laugh at that. One, it's the first joke she's ever heard. And third, I can't imagine that working on anyone ever. That's because you're always like Ted Mosby, architect. <laughs> if it were me, I'd be like Ted Mosby, architect. 
No, it's the first law school party of the year, and it's gonna be awesome. I haven't seen these guys since, like, last year before Lily and I broke up. So I'm gonna have to break the news to everybody. It's really gonna bum them out. This party's gonna suck. I mean, you wouldn't watch the same movie over and over. Maybe a great movie like Die Hard, but Field of Dreams? Once is more than enough. The number one example on the tip of your tongue of a bad movie is Field of Dreams? It's about ghost baseball players. I think it's stupid. How do you not like Field of Dreams? <laughs> Marshall, it's a 78-story pink marble tower with a rounded top and two spherical entryways at the front. <laughs> wow, so it's the whole package. <laughs> yeah, you did. Have to. <laughs> oh, dude, if they're selling condos, you gotta get me in. And don't give me the shaft. Yeah, you did. Had to. <laughs> Turn it over. <sighs> Robin Shabatsky.